Hello and welcome back to the port, I'm the Gav Measure and this is a revisit of HMS Cheshire in the form of a let's play but looking at some of the changes that they've done in the February 2021 patch. Uh, first of all as always, Shipping Forecast, a game of domination on an estuary, it is a tier 6 and 7 game although there is a tier 5 on the enemy team. Kagero is at 23, York, Surrey, Bayern, Gnaiz now, Bismarck, Richelieu and Massachusetts. So uh, only the one 16 inch gun battleship I guess you could say. Enemy Richelieu breaking off to the left flank does bode well for us. Bismarck here as well, again, that does kind of bode well for us. She's only got 15 inch guns. And we're getting one shatter on the uh, Richelieu as she uh, makes her break off to the other flank. So, um, some of the changes that they've done to Cheshire, well, one of those changes obviously is to those 9.2 inch guns. They've reduced the reload time uh, from 17 seconds to 16 seconds. In the grand scheme of things, not a massive change. Um, before the change, uh, you had the worst HE and AP DPM and the second worst fires per minute. And with that change, you still have the worst HE and AP DPM and the second worst fires per minute. So although it's better than it was before in your ranking to the tier 6 tech tree cruisers, you're no better off really in your ranking. And that's very much the story with most of these changes. When it comes to the rudder shift, they've changed the rudder shift from 10.5 seconds to 9 seconds. It's probably one of the largest changes they have actually done to the Cheshire. Uh, reducing that rudder shift by 1.5 seconds. However, um, it does take you from above average to below average, which is, I guess, a step in the right direction. But your actual positioning um, doesn't really change that much. And also, you probably have to consider that the average has changed a little bit because of the introduction of the Surrey at tier 6. Whereas previously, you were... Um, third worst, you're now fourth worst because of the introduction of the Surrey and your slight change there. However, definitely a welcome change because uh, the way that Cheshire has to be played is a very kitey play style and therefore uh, having that additional rudder shift is much obliged and considering that your rudder shift is better than the Surrey, um, it it does make you better in that regard, I guess, because all oh, the uh, York's engines are knocked out. Not sure if that was myself. But it does mean that the Yorks are uh, sitting duck on the broadside. Hopefully, our shells can find their mark. There we go. Do like those German cruisers with their weak engine modules being exposed like that. You never quite know. I'm not quite sure if I get got the incapacitation on that one. So that's the rudder. Um, so let's take us on to the repair party change. Now it's an interesting change. Um, Cheshire's not the only one that they've done this to. In fact, they've also done this to the Vanguard. And what they've done is they haven't changed the amount of HP that you actually recover in total from an individual repair party. But what they have changed is how much you repair per second and then the duration of that repair. So um, in the case of the Cheshire they've changed it from approximately 200 and something HP per second for 28 seconds to about 600 and something HP per second for 9.3 seconds. So you're getting the same amount of HP back. But the advantage of this change is that now it's 19 seconds quicker. Which doesn't sound a lot, and let's be honest, it's not a lot. But it does mean it goes on to cooldown 19 seconds quicker. Which I guess you could say they've basically taken 19 seconds off the reload time in comparison, I guess you could say. Because the advantage of getting it quicker just means that maybe if you're in a tight moment and you need that HP before the next volley comes in, then you should be able to get your heal done uh, before a cruiser, um, probably a heavy cruiser, gets her next volley off. That's quite a nice trick. Um, also means that you'll be able to get that heal back, um, or get that heal off before a battleship gets its next volley. So I guess that means that 
you're not it's in such a precarious situation at times um, when you're in a very close knife fight although um, that's not usually the kind of uh, fights I get myself into with the Cheshire I usually focus on long range battles but it is an interesting tweak I guess you could say well so with those changes does it change the Cheshire that much? Does it make her better? Well, yeah, it does make her better, marginally. Um, does it change my opinion on her? No, because I, I did really start to find I really liked the Cheshire. I do enjoy her uh, in comparison to the Surrey. Um, she is a bit nicer, I guess you could say, especially with those 9.2-inch guns. But in general, she hasn't changed a lot. So uh, if you... Uh, a bit skeptical about getting her before, you're probably still going to be skeptical about getting her now, is the best way to put it. She's not, uh, she hasn't been made any easier in comparison to some cruisers. I right, just got to make sure I keep angled against this. Well, that just kind of showcases a very quick repair body. I might just quickly do that volley and then switch to AP, but I'm running out of room here. Good. Well, we might as well continue this, uh, very much in the regards of being a Let's Play. Outside Surrey, let's see what we can get here. Oh, here comes the turbits. Mm, only tickling the, uh, the Surrey, unfortunately. So um, we've had to just bounce it off the edge of the map, didn't really have much choice. Probably just really switch to HE against the Bismarck, doesn't look like the AP is going to be doing too much. Um, Surrey's preoccupied, so I'm going to offer this side. Um, this is an opportunity to get these torpedoes out. Going to have to hit that repair bar, well, damage control I guess you could say, with uh, two fires. The problem with these lovely secondary driven battleships is you never quite know which shells are their main battery shells and which shells are their um, secondary shells. Trying to offer our armoured belt to the Bismarck. Thankfully tanking most of it off the belt. How much longer we can keep this up, I don't know. Got three fires, gonna have to do something about those. There goes the Bismarck. Gonna have to see what we can do against the Surrey. I mean, thankfully we might have our last repair party in about 15 seconds, but that's not going to be enough unfortunately. Um, only 77,000 damage, 2 kills and 1 citadel, 7 fires. Let's uh, see how the rest of the team can do, with a bit of Colonel Bogey's match. see um, 77,000 damage we kind of already been over this um, but um, yeah didn't do too badly I guess you could say um, 
not the greatest game, but not the worst game in the Cheshire, I guess you say. Probably quite average for me in the Cheshire, at least. Um, when it comes to the end scores, coming in second on my team, which is fair enough. The Udachi definitely had a runaway game, it looks like. Getting himself four kills and a hundred... Well, no, a thousand ship XP more than myself, so uh, he did quite well. Um, frankly, it was the, the Gneisenhauer who had lots of HP and came in at the end that managed to secure the win, I guess you say. However, the Udachi definitely had a fair effort at it, especially when he torpedoed the Massachusetts on the enemy team, which was the enemy team's top player as well. Going to the economy, uh, obviously the ship service cost in this case for the Cheshire being a tier 6 premium is 77,000 credits. With a common credit booster and premium account, I've been able to walk away with 359,000 credits, which is quite nice. Now, um, hopefully that sums up some of my thoughts in regards to the changes they've made to the Cheshire in this patch, and also just gives a nice little idea in regards to um, the... A bit like a let's play of the Cheshire. If you have enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy this content, content, feel free to subscribe. Down in the description is the commander build and the ship modules used, along with the email address of the channel if you want to send any of your own game captures, and link to Patreon if you want to support the channel on Patreon. If you're already a subscriber, that's it. Thank you very much, and until next time, I'm the Gaff Major, and back to the port. Hey, hey, the way. Here comes the galloping major. Get out of the way there, you fellas. Unless you want me to run you down.